In addition to the built-in types provided for calculating data summaries, you can also use code to calculate and create a custom summary value in the AG data grid. Let's see how it's done. I'll start with a new Silverlight application project. I expand the Solution Explorer and right-click to open the Add Reference window. I hold down the Control key and click to select the following components. I click OK to add them to my Silverlight project. Next, I'll add namespace references to the devexpress.ag data grid and devexpress.ag editor's CLR assemblies. In the layout route, I create a new AG data grid control and specify a name for it. I save the project and switch to code view. For the purpose of this example, I'm going to use a simple list as my data source. I add the following class to store the data and another class to create some test data. Now I need to bind the grid to data. In the pages default constructor, I set the data source property to the get data function of the product list class. Now let's return to XAML. Here, I'll enable the show totals attribute of the grid so that the total summaries can be displayed. To calculate custom summaries, I create a new handler for the grid's custom summary event. This event is fired for each data row when calculating a total summary value. Next, I create a columns collection and specify the columns for the grid. You can see here that using the AG Editor's library, I've specified the values in the unit price column to be formatted and displayed as dollar currency values. Now I can define the total summary value for the unit price column. I set the display format to currency and specify that it's a custom summary. And finally, I want this summary to show in the column and display a custom title. I switch over to code view. Here you can see the event handler we created earlier. I'll first add a total price variable that will store the calculated summary value. Then within the event handler, I add the following code. If the event is being called to start the calculation of the summary value, then the total price variable is initialized to zero. Otherwise, the total price is calculated by adding up the total for each row. This is obtained by multiplying the quantity and price values for each data row. And I'm done. Let's run the application to see the results. You can see the grid has been populated with data. The total price custom summary value has been calculated and is displayed in the footer of the grid control. Thanks for watching, and as always, thank you for choosing DevExpress.